What's up, y'all? I am back again with another video, and today we'll be going on a different reaction, so I'm going to read the title for y'all. Women leave good men for this reason. So this is going to be very good, y'all. So y'all know to do like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and make sure you don't miss another video, and let's get into it. Hey all my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly values, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your hostess, femininity coach, and author of the Crimson Cure and this is my perspective. So, you know, I had, I've had this one in the chamber for quite some time. You guys have probably seen the clip that we're about to show. But this goes along with the theme of this week. See, last time we were talking about protection. This time we can talk about provision this week. And how women don't even understand what provision is when it comes to men. Not only do they not understand what provision is. They don't understand their role in a relationship with a man. Too many women think that if they support their men or if they support their men's vision or if they put any money towards the relationship or towards the furthering of the dream, the business, the whatever it is that they have built a man, that they have, you know, been his mother or they have done something extraordinary that, you know, that, that no other woman has ever been asked to do in the history of womandom. And it's ridiculous, actually, because what we're going to hear is a woman is a radio show. I don't know which radio show this is, but the, the man is checking this woman about why she left her relationship. Okay. And the women, the women, I don't know if it's cognitive dissonance. I don't know if it's just being dense. I don't know if it's just a, a, a failure to communicate, a failure to comprehend. I don't know what it is, but it's like the women in the comments couldn't understand it either. Like they didn't get it. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and let it play and then we're going to cook. So here it is. Because you ain't got no money, you left me. Had to. That ain't right. I don't like that. If I'm making more money than him, I don't. You should help him get some more money. How am I going to do that, though? If I have my own career, I'm doing what I'm doing. A woman's supposed to be a helpmate. I feel like a man is supposed to be that for a girl. A man's supposed to be a leader. You right. You're supposed to help him be a better leader. So I was in the wrong. Now I'm the bad guy. I'm always the bad guy. Why are you looking for a daddy? I ain't looking for a daddy. I got my own money. I could do what I do. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't need a guy for money. I want a man to be stable. If I was to leave him, I want him to be so he, he wasn't stable? Um, he was okay, but I was making more than him. But he was stable though. <laughs> I guess. So why are you leaving? Because he wasn't doing better than me. I need a guy doing better than me. And if he's not doing better than me, then I don't I guess I feel like it would have been more. Now, before she continue before she continues on, several, several things already. Because she's trying to do this, you know, ah, well, he need to do this and he need to do that. First of all. You knew who he was and what his income was when you got with him. It be cap. Nice. When women say they don't know or they say that men uh, 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 that men uh, um, trick them, it's all cap. That's all cap. You know when a man has something and when he doesn't. You may not know exactly what it the number unless you ask, but you know the difference between a man that doesn't have much and a man that is sufficient and a man that has more than enough. That is obvious. It's obvious in the way that they behave. It's obvious in how they carry themselves and what they do and how they handle their lives. So you left him on day, whatever it was that you left him for a situation that existed on day one. You were making more than him anyways. I presume that you met him at whatever financial income you had versus whatever income he had. And so you 
felt or you started at in the course of the relationship you started making a little bit more than him and then you start feeling like you was better than him because you made a couple more dollars than him now he's not good enough when he was just good enough the day before your income increased so we're going to let it finish plan here we go more real you to help him get to where you y'all want, want these guys i feel like guys want that love story like i feel like guys want us females to be with them in the trap do what they do and then when nobody she goes downhill no you nobody want that you want that you could have helped him outside of the trap you could have helped him get a barber license or anything he was good at that but he could have did that himself he could not encourage him. Him. Well, i'm not his mom i'm not gonna carry him and go do 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 this and this just because he ain't got no money, you love him? Had to. Ain't nobody say carry him. Nobody said carry him. Nobody. See, and this is the problem. And then let me read a comment. So he needs to be walking in his full potential to be next to someone in their full potential, period. Not normalizing struggle love, insecure love. You will be his come up, but he will bring you down, draining you if your own ambition, of your own ambition for your own life. Like, this is projection. A bunch of y'all are parasites. Let's just keep it a book. A bunch of y'all are parasites looking for me. You specifically look for me and have more than you so that you can drain that man. So that you can be, so that he can be your come up. So that he can provide you with a lifestyle that you cannot provide for yourself and have no way of seeing how you can provide that for yourself. That's why so many of y'all be like, oh, he got to make $300,000 a year. You don't even have the reality of that anyways. So all that you know is that you want a man to make enough money to provide this TV fairy tale lifestyle that you think you're supposed to be getting just because you was born with a vagina and a throat. Thanks. That's half trash in the first place. This isn't stable uh, um, struggle love. That woman said he was stable. She started giggling when he said, so was he stable? Well, he wasn't making more than me. Nobody asked you that. Said, was he stable? You was with him. Oh no, he was stable. So what you leave for? Well, I need a man that's making, that's doing better than me. Whatever. When you find men that are better than you, 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 this is what you do. Because he may not have necessarily been making more money than you, but he was probably better than you, which is why you were with him in, in the first place. Because he had things at, or a leadership quality or certain qualities that helped you. And a lot of women do not like to admit that these men that they like to downgrade and denigrate once they get to a certain level or think that they can do things without those men, they don't, they don't like to give credit to the men that, that they're standing on their shoulders. They stand on these men's shoulders. These men have supported them. Various men have given them a way through, pioneered for them, opened doors for them, gave them knowledge, supported them, gave them money gave them networking, uh, hooked them up with this one, hooked them up with that one, taught them the ropes in whatever business, taught them about money, taught them about how to go get the bag. Women learn from me and how to go get the bag. And then when they get the bag, they like to, they like to degrade the men and act like there wasn't no man helping them and they did it all by themselves. And that's cap. And then when you get with a man and all that he's asking is for some support, you will give, you will drop a baby for a man. You will go all the way through a, a childbirth and putting your life in danger for a man before you give him a hundred dollars. Make that make sense. You willing to invest everything but your little money. Nobody said to struggle or to, or to get a man and pay for his whole life. And that's what y'all equated to because that's really what you want. So it's projection. You want a man to come get you and pay for your whole life. Men are not asking for that. And if you taking care of an F boy, that's your problem. Not his problem. He, he taking advantage. You see a fool bop his, bop his head. That's all he doing. You're putting yourself in that position with him. But a man that's actually striving, a man that's actually on his grind, you're not, he's not an F boy. You're not taking care of him. You're not uh, a paying for his whole life. You putting in some money here and there 
to or or giving him encouragement or helping him with the networks that you have. If you have some resources that he can that he can take advantage of and that might help him move forward, why come you aren't sharing those resources? A man shared those resources with you. That's how you got them. A man shared his networking with you. That's how you got that. And so it's it's a bunch of cap with y'all. It just proves that y'all don't understand what it takes to make a healthy relationship in the first place. You got this fantasy thing that you're not willing to let go. And any man that tell y'all that it's a fantasy, he he become the ops. Well, stay lonely then and buy a dog and die alone. Do that. And stop squawking and, and, and crying on TikTok about men and how they don't want you. And how it ain't no good ones. When you be having good ones, and then you be letting them go for all that superficial reasons. It was somebody that got in the pink hair, hot pink hair over here. It was somebody that her, one of her friends got in her ear because y'all run y'all mouth too much about what's going on in y'all relationship. So she, she told her, she bragging, she told her friends or told her mama or something. Now, yeah, I make more money than him. And they started yapping in her ear and getting under her ear about how she shouldn't be taking care of no man. And she left a what probably was a the most healthy or best relationship she had had for no reason other than to please the other hyenas in the gynocracy because y'all don't be wanting the other hyenas to see you as weak. You don't want to be called a quote unquote pick me. It's true. Y'all so superficially hurt. Anyway, jump down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Once again, I'm your host, the Crimson Cure, and this was my perspective. Bye bye, Crimsonites. I'm going to let y'all know this. And I want y'all, and I, I need y'all to know the truth. You know the truth. You see, this is the reason why that, that I'm going to say this right. I don't know why many women are like, are like, like trying to put, they always trying to put themselves above each other who make, who, who, who makes a lot of money. It doesn't matter. Like, I'm going to say this to you, right? I know a lot of women who make about three, like even most women make like $300,000 a year. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean many women, it doesn't make a man or a woman it doesn't make the person the breadwinner it doesn't mean it doesn't mean anything it doesn't mean any anything to me because guess what do you think i really give a fuck give a fuck about most women out here are putting like putting themselves above men because they make more money when their men decided to get you into the inside inside to get you into something to learn how to make how to learn how to make money and get the bag like, like it's not about it's not about who makes more money than not because I'm gonna say this I'm gonna be honest right women do make a lot of money a lot more money than men but it doesn't mean it doesn't it doesn't mean it doesn't make the women the breadwinner who cares like who cares about this shit like first of all do I care do I care about women out here make more money than men no I don't care. Even most men, even most men don't care about that shit, but most men do. But they, they, they like, first of all, like, I'm going to say this, right? Like, I'm going to say this to you. I make about, like, $15 an hour. Because do I care? I'm going to start. Do I care about making more money? No. I don't care about that shit. If my, if, if my girlfriend makes more money than me, if I start complaining, no, I don't care. Because guess what? I learn how to save money now. Because, like, and first of all, like, it doesn't mean... It doesn't mean a man or woman who makes more money did more more than each other. First of all, it's about the relationship. If y'all if y'all put if a man and woman try to put yourselves above each other, that means y'all that means y'all turn this shit into a competition. That means y'all not in even not in not even in a relationship. Even most men and women don't care who makes more money. They don't care. Like, and I'm gonna say this in my opinion. Like, if nobody doesn't because I'm gonna say this right. Men and women they do pay, they do pay all the bills, and I'm gonna say this. Men like men and women they do pretty good. It it doesn't matter if like I see in a lot of couple relation. I see a lot of relationships have been going through a lot. Have been going through a lot with each other, and I'm gonna say this right. But this is not about. This is not about. This is not about a competition. This is about two couples are in a relationship 
who make a lot of, who make a lot of money. It doesn't ma- it doesn't matter who the bread who the bread who the breadwinner is. Who cares? Nobody cares about that. You see, that's why men and women they need to stop trying to put each other above each other who makes more money. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me. And first of all, I respect, first of all, as long as I learn how to save money, because guess what? And that's a lot of women out here who make more money. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean of a woman who makes about like $300,000 a year. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean they don't, that doesn't, that doesn't mean they have a career. They have a job who pays you more. It doesn't mean, and then it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean you got more money than everybody. It doesn't, it doesn't matter to me. Like, and I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say, uh, this shit. Men and women <clears throat> need to stop trying to, trying to put, trying to put above each other to who makes more money than a year. And I'm in hearing, I'm in hearing that, that most women in their podcasts, and I'm in hearing them people in their interviews, all men, all men need to make about $300,000 a year. First of all, why are you, why are you caring about, I, you care about the money, but you don't want to be in a relationship with a man. Because number one, this shit don't make any sense. Like, you see, this is the reason why I say this is the reason why men and women need to stop putting it, need to stop putting their stuff above each other. Who like who makes more money? Right. And I'm gonna say this: Who cares? Who is the breadwinner? It doesn't matter. And I'm gonna let y'all know this: If y'all have a relationship with a woman or a man, don't try to put. Don't put yourself above each other who makes more money. It doesn't matter. Learn that rule. And also this, I forgot to tell y'all this, and I will be dropping another video tomorrow, and I will see y'all guys in the next time video. So don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and make sure you don't miss another video, and I will see y'all guys in the next time video. Peace.